Welcome to how-to videos from Bugspray.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a snake guard snake trap and demonstrate how the snake trap works. Yeah. A couple of things to keep in mind while you're setting your snake trap. One is you want to have it along a wall because typically snakes are going to be traveling along the wall. And the second thing is to have maybe a roll of tape on hand. Duct tape or masking tape should work fine. You just want it to be held in place so that uh, if the snake's traveling into it, it doesn't get pushed around. It's a pretty good size trap, but at the same time, a really good size snake might push it out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up now. First thing you want to do is just a little piece of uh, paper here that holds it together. Inside of it, there's some instructions. We'll set those to the side. Since I've done this before, there's a uh, everything has folds in it, so it's very easy to follow. And there's some little dimples on here. You want to make sure you hit those. This just gives the snake some areas to have some traction. And you also notice that there's some uh, some grip on the bottom of this as well. Next thing you want to do is remove the wax paper from the glue. Another feature of this trap is that the glue is in a V shape. So as the snake's traveling in, it's not going to actually hit the glue until it's midway into the trap. So even if you're catching a large snake, uh, it works really well. The next thing you're going to do is fold this and slip it into the notches. Again, everything's pre-cut. Very easy assembly as you can see. It even says very clear on it. Place this side against the wall. And again, I'm going to use a little bit of masking tape to move it in place. It's going to have a tendency to want to pull because of the way this hole is for all that time. It may be helpful to put a couple of extra pieces above it depending on how your wall is made. This particular wall happens to have concrete, which the masking tape doesn't want to hold on to real tightly, so that should give me just enough of a little pain in place. And that's really all there is to setting up the snake trap. Next, we're going to uh, basically just monitor it. If we see a snake coming, we'll try to get the camera on in time to uh, catch it on video. Okay, as you can see, here comes the uh, snake. And now that I see it, I can see it's a rat snake, and I could probably just go over and pick it up. But really, for the purposes of this demonstration, I wanted to show how the snake guard snake trap works. Now, one thing you'll notice, uh, I put a little extra tape on this ledge. Uh, I know that snakes like to not only go along edges, but they like to go along on top of an edge as this rat snake is showing right now. So hopefully the tape that I built up there to kind of guide it back down into the trap is sufficient for uh, getting it to go where I want it to go. The great thing about the snake trap is that uh, it is a dark place and snakes like to feel protected so they'll go into a dark place like this. Another thing about it is once that snake gets stuck on the glue, it's gonna try harder and harder to get off of the glue. And as it struggles to get off, it's gonna get more and more stuck to it. 
The great thing about the snake art snake trap is I'm actually going to be able to take just a little bit of cooking oil or olive oil and once this demonstration is done I'll be able to release this snake without any harm to it whatsoever. Okay, you can see it's moving a little bit now. He's working himself trying to get off the glue I use apparently stuck on now. As you can see the snake's definitely stuck and is currently trying to work his way out. Okay, from this shot you can see the snake is uh, currently stuck on here a little bit and it's currently trying to work his way off. And we'll just watch and uh, see how successful he is. We'll just leave this on and see how long it takes for him to get good and stuck on there. The more he struggles, the more he pushes himself against that glue, the more firmly he'll be caught. You can see he's still struggling a little bit. The more he struggles, the more stuck he gets. Okay, here's a shot of the snake from the other side of the box, and you can see as you look down the glue that uh, that snake is fairly well caught in there. And I am pretty certain that there is no way that snake is going to be able to get off that glue. Okay, at this point, the snake's been on the board for about five minutes. And I'm pretty certain his entire body is inside this box. I'm pretty certain he's fairly well caught on it. I'm going to go ahead and go through that see if we can get a good view of the inside. Okay, there you go. You can see there's no way this snake's getting off of this glue board. I'm going to add the use of the wall. you can see. It's a beautiful rat snake and I'm glad I was able to track him with the glue. Uh, or it would be very easy to release him and I'll show you that. Everybody. Okay, I've got the snake over here in a shady area of my yard. Um, I personally don't mind having a rat snake around. They eat a lot of mice. Uh, but at the same time, I wouldn't want him in my garage either. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and release him. Uh, I can tell this one's about to mold. Using canola oil because it's healthy. healthy. Snake this size, as strong as it is, it should only take a minute or two for the. You just gotta make sure you get this canola oil all over every edge so that the uh, glue will start to dissolve. The snake working its way off, it should only take a second or two. down here. Look at this. It's already broken loose. A good portion of it. Again, the snake's getting oil on it. And you can always add a little bit more. But you already see, look at that. It's about uh, 40, 50% of the way off. Slowly but surely pulling its head away. And that's not happy with it at all. released and off he goes nice and healthy that's how you trap and release a snake with a snake guard snake trap thank you for watching this how-to video from bugspray.com